guaranteed this will be the worst reveal video you've ever seen. It's a little awkward. Uh, uh, I mean, this, this is my S13. I don't even know where to start. Um, I was supposed to show you guys this like maybe eight or so months ago. My expectations went from all the way up here to like here. Uh, we're still having issues with the car. I mean, let's, let's go back to where it all started. About uh, like nine or so months ago, uh, we decided to take our 240 to the track. We've had this 240 for maybe over nine months. And don't be fooled. Don't think this is just some S13 that I picked up, threw some vinyl on and didn't show you guys. Besides the glass and the actual metal frame itself, this is actually the same exact 240 that we had from our last build. And listen, I understand what you guys are already asking. Why didn't I just show you guys this build? The, listen, it goes much deeper than that. This project was supposed to be done. This was just purely supposed to be some driving content. Now, this is the 240's electrical harness. Uh, well, a part of it. This is the fuse box. And I mean, as you can see, it's just, it's old, man. Everything's crusty and spliced together and this and that. And a new electrical harness is like a little over $1,000 plus the lower harness is like $350. And I came to find out really quick that I have no idea what the I'm doing now it was real hard to come to terms with that especially since because I pride myself on doing things on my own and uh, well I needed to ask for help and I don't have a problem with asking for help but I just don't like bothering people and when it comes to electrical harness issues that's like a bother already on its own so for me to come and put my negative problems on someone else literally negative problem I just want to feel good about it so Z's, I can figure out electrical harnesses all day by myself. Same thing with the Q50. VQ engine harnesses are really easy because it's all just one piece. These are multi-piece harnesses and they're very annoying. And there's a lot of sensors and there used to be EGR system with these kind of cars and that just makes for so many more lines and vacuum hoses and stuff. And I did a delete on it and just down the rabbit hole of 240 stuff. And uh, it just... <laughs> It just made for a much more complicated experience that I did not expect uh, compared to working on Z's and other Nissan's. Now, this doesn't mean I'm giving up on the 240, but I decided to finally make this video because I'm tired of hiding it from you guys. And two, I can't really hide it from you guys because it's stuck here on my lawn. The car doesn't run. The car hasn't ran since I swapped everything in. And this is where we come to figure out that, uh, well, kind of a child. We're gonna go ahead and figure out this 240 adventure together because I know there's some people out there who is gonna love this kind of concept. And I mean, look at the car, man. Shout out to Driftology for one of the best designs I've seen. My first design ever. And I, uh, I appreciate all the work and time and effort that he's put into creating the design, laying it on for me and uh, just being a good friend. I realized that there is a lot of new people to the channel and maybe not a lot of you guys knew what happened to the last 240. So we're here to explain it to you guys that this is literally the same exact 240 from the previous one. Uh, we swapped everything from engine, subframe, rear subframe, fuel tank, fuel pumps, roll cage, Everything that you could think of, even the headlights, the doors, the mirrors, it just goes on and on and on. I'm going to quit jibber jabbering. I'm going to show you guys everything that we have on here. Go into it a little in depth just so you guys are a little familiar with one of the new builds that is on our channel. So this was supposed to be like a really simple build, but as far as what this car had on it previously, I couldn't do anything about it and they were really nice parts. So there was no point in me changing anything. So for starters, obviously we could go with the engine. Nothing is touched. We changed the valve cover gasket. We changed all the spark plugs and the ignition coil packs. I couldn't tell you more about the engine than what you already see. It's a completely stock KA with a stock air intake. There's literally nothing to this car 
that screams I'm different. Until we start heading over to the suspension. Please. This 240 came with a nasty PBM angle kit from Part Shop Max and also to match with it some legit PBM coilovers. In the rear we got the classic Willwood dual caliber setup with the brand new GK Tech adjustable handbrake. I freaking love this thing. I love hydraulic handbrakes. Inline handbrakes are alright. They're a little more simpler to deal with but I just love the feedback from a hydraulic handbrake especially when they're dialed in correctly. The interior is a mess. Don't mind but very simple stuff. We rhino line the whole entire interior. We got a phase 2 quick shifter. We still kept the OEM handbrake. The entry to get onto the track is like at a ramp a lot of people don't want to keep turning the car on and off and on and off so what i get to do is i just get to use my oem handbrake i haven't got to see if it got in the way of me shifting or transitioning from the shift knob to the e-brake but we'll figure it out once we uh, start getting more seat time a full bolton cusco cage i don't got the passenger side in right now all we need to do is add a harness bar from this point here to the point across there that way we could go ahead and strap our seat belt behind us and get it into our bucket seat as far as the body, it's very simple stuff. We all went with Duramax everything. Rear bumper, front bumper. These are actually from the previous 240. I believe these are either Dorky Dory or Origin Series 1s. Um, it's not the 2 vent. Uh, I don't completely remember. Don't at me on it. All in Juku Racing mash bars on the front and the rear. And that's... Well, that's really it. I know it's dark and weird and a different time of the day, but I really do hope you guys enjoy some 240 content. I'm really trying my best to post as much different content as I can for you guys. We're going to get to getting this thing started as soon as possible. I'm tired of just keeping this thing behind the curtains for you guys. You guys do deserve to know what's going on, and uh, I, it's just really difficult to hide it as well. So. If you guys enjoy the 240 content, make sure to comment down below. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe, like this video, and I appreciate you guys for watching. My name is Double R, and I'm out. Peace.